All right, so let's talk really quick about how I want you to study this course. Now, when I'm teaching photography, uh, whether it's in person or via video format, I like people to have the camera, a lens, and flowers or something that they can photograph really easy without getting up and leaving the room. Because the moment you get out of your chair, who knows when you're gonna get back to continuing on these videos. So I'm assuming you have a professional or a semi-professional DSLR and at least one lens, maybe more. So take your camera, get it off auto, put it on manual mode and just follow along. Don't worry about getting everything perfect right now. I just want you to understand each of the concepts that I'm going over with you and that you actually get it and it clicks in your head. So if you focus on getting everything perfect, you might get frustrated just follow along with the general understanding. The other thing I wanted to mention is don't skip around on the course. One of the biggest problems that you'll have learning photography online or via blogs or information that's spread out is a lot of time the people who are talking about photography, they'll jump from one subject that you're trying to learn into a subject that you haven't learned yet. And this can be really frustrating because you're trying to understand something that you don't understand and suddenly someone says five other things that you don't understand and you give up in frustration. So I have designed this course so that I take you on baby steps from one concept to the next. And I'm gonna say things multiple times, probably to the point where you might even get frustrated with it, but trust me, just like Alice in Wonderland said, if I tell you three times, it's true. I think that's where God said. Anyways, I'm gonna repeat things multiple times so that, it, that you build it as a memorization factor and it's just built and becomes part of your muscle memory. So also as I'm doing this course, we're gonna be bouncing around in a lot of different locations. And I'm doing that, one, so you don't get bored of just seeing me sit here talking, but two, also so that you can actually look at the light in, in different scenarios. I, I really want you to start obsessing over light. So I'm gonna try and get just a bunch of different lighting situations and a bunch of different locations so that you can actually practice looking at the light in a scene and uh, it'll give you a bunch of different examples to compare things to. Okay, so with all that said, let's go ahead and let's get started on the first actual lesson of this course.